Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome back to Spin Weekly. It's a news episode. In this episode we're going to be talking about five fiber gifts that just keep on giving. No one-shot wonders here. Some news about the community including some events, some featured artists, and a really cool new handspun yarn resource that if you don't already know about you should as well as how we can help out Esther Rogers, who is one of our very own, on her road to healing. Without further ado, let's jump right in with that gift giving guide. So first up, number one, we have magazine subscriptions. Uh, Ply and Spinoff both are excellent fiber magazines and buying your reciprocant a magazine subscription is a wonderful way to give them a gift that's going to continue to challenge and inspire and tantalize them throughout the entire year. So I really recommend that. Gift number two is a fiber subscription box, which there are several. I have picked out a few of my favorites and left links down below along with links to all of the other things that I am about to mention. Fiber subscription boxes are super fun because you never really know what you're going to get and it just continues to come. As the magazines continue to tantalize, inspire, and challenge your minds, fiber subscription boxes will do the same things to your hands in real life, trying out new stuff. So I really recommend buying that for anybody you would like to delight on a long-term basis. Recommendation number three, a piece of education. Piece of education, this could be a Craftsy class, which is a lifetime subscription. So you buy them a Craftsy class and they have access to that forever. A video course, like Ashley Martineau's Singles, Plied, Correspond, all those wonderful videos. Again, lifetime access, books, like my fiber books are another great one. Also a in-person class. All of that is clumped under education. Education you can never go wrong with. Seriously. Always fall back onto learning something. If you don't know what to get somebody in any genre, pick something that they can learn something from. Learning is cool, yo. Because I'm cool. You want to be like me. Lady who talks about fiber and says, yo. <laughs> Alright, gift number four. This is for the fiber artist who already has everything. A Heifer International fiber animal. If you are not familiar with Heifer International, what they are is a relief organization that brings animals to developing nations. They are a long time well respected organization with a really interesting history that you should learn about. So basically what happens is say you give a llama to somebody, that llama's first offspring goes to someone else in the community who then follows the same rule. That llama's first offspring goes to somebody else. Any subsequent llama offsprings will remain with the original family so they can develop a llama business of all the different llama business varieties there are to diversify, but their community also has plenty of llamas now. So this is a really great thing to do, and any fiber artist would be honored to have a llama donated in their honor. My last gift that just keeps on giving, number five, is a breed sample box. There are several breed sample boxes available in different preps and styles and colors and breeds. Um, but this is a great way to break out of your fiber spinning rut to discover new breeds and all kinds of different things in a really low risk way. So if you don't like, I don't know, Polworth, then you can just pass it on to somebody else or blend it with something so it kind of disappears in the background. No problem, you didn't get 500 pounds of it, you just got a sample box. It's great. So I really love the sample box mentality. This also applies to if you are a brand new fiber artist and have never tried different preps, you can get a sampler with all the different preps. So that's another cool one because not only are you giving the gift of diversification, these are ideas and experiences that are going to influence the rest of their fiber career, which is awesome.
Next up, in community news, there are a couple of events that you may want to pre-register for. Ply Magazine's second annual Ply Away Retreat is happening in Kansas City, Missouri and is available for pre-registration now. Reef's Yarn Fest is happening in Colorado. You can also pre-register for that because everybody loves an early bird price. So if you are in Missouri or Colorado or surrounding areas and you're looking for a festival happening early next year, information to those is below. I highly recommend all of them, especially Ply Away because Ply Magazine is the bomb.com. Next up, have you heard about thisyarn.com? It is an incredible resource for what even you should do with hand spun yarn, which is a dilemma a lot of us have, especially art yarn. There are patterns and articles and all kinds of goodness and the whole thing is just visually tantalizing because art yarn with excellent photography and patterns and knitting and crocheting and weaving and check out this yarn.com it's really cool lastly in community news we come to a more somber piece of piece of news and that would be esther rogers who went in for what she thought was an appendicitis and it ended up being an exploded cancerous tumor uh, which caused her entire body to go septic uh, this is really bad news and she will continue to fight cancer until she triumphs like a woman. But the main issue here, aside from her physical well-being, is she has to pay 30% of her medical costs out of pocket, which is staggering. So the community has set up a place where you can obtain her address to send love and cards, or you can give money directly to her PayPal account through a webpage. I have all this information down below. And the community at the time that I'm making this video already has raised over $7,000 for her. So we are really rallying and I invite you to join that fight to support our sister Esther Rogers. And we're going to wrap up this episode with a featured maker and that is Carla of the Spinning Mermaid. I just within a couple of weeks have discovered the existence of this magical magical woman and her magical magical mermaid fibers. On Instagram she liked a couple of my pictures and I went and I looked at her stuff and I immediately went to her store and contacted her and asked her to be a part of my super secret Hanukkah project which she said yes so keep an eye out for that. But. I cannot stress enough how much I am having a fiber crush on the Spinning Mermaid. Her fiber is vivid and bold and rainbowlicious, fantastic awesomeness. Go check that out if you are into bold and bright colors. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Spin Weekly News. If you have any recommendations for future news, any recommendations for featured artists, if you would like to sponsor an episode of Spin Weekly News, you can contact me down below, comment, all of that goodness. If you want to make sure that you do not miss any future episodes, hit the subscribe button because I like your face and I don't want you to miss anything. I will see you next time.